Hello, Clan Up players. Let's work on line 23 together, March Steps. Um, before we play it together, I would like to demonstrate it for you. So if you'd like to grab your clarinet and try to finger along with me, or if you just want to listen to it, that's fine. But here's what March Steps sounds like. So why is this song called March Steps? Well, because it actually has some jumps in the music. Up to this point, most of the notes we played are stepwise. What I mean by that is they're right next to each other. Like, for example, here, um, C, D, E, F, G, G, F, E, D, C. We're just going up line to space, line to space, line to space. They're right next to each other. But in this song, we got a jump. We're skipping from the C to the E. We're jumping over the D. On skipping notes, okay? So we got to move multiple fingers at the same time. Same thing here. We got to skip, and we, and we got to jump, okay? From E to G, E to G. We're, we're, we've got some steps, okay? So let's go ahead and slow the song down. It's at 83. Let's take it down to 60, because I think it's always wise to practice songs slowly. And let's go ahead and grab our clarinets and say the song out loud and push the keys, okay? So here we go. You ready? Let's say it out loud. And move your fingers. Ready? Here we go. C, E, C, E, D, F, E, D, F, E, E, G, E, G, F, E, D, G, F, E, D, C, C, rest. Did you notice the new extra long note we have in this song? It's called a whole note, and it's right there. It looks like a half note, because here's what a half note looks like, which has the stem attached to it. Here's another half note, okay? But see how this one has a stem and this one doesn't. So if it doesn't have that stick or that stem attached to it, it's a whole note. And it's worth four beats of sound. That's a long note. That's one of the longest notes you'll see in music. So when you get there, you got to think. Um, you got to think. Ta. Give it four beats. Okay, four beats. Um, whereas the half note only gets two beats. Ta. Okay. So let's go ahead and count it one more time. And let's th this time let's see if we can count it um, with with the letter names, of course, and make sure we're holding out those whole notes for four full counts, okay? So when we get there, we're going to say D. Don't turn off your sound early, okay? Let's count it again. You ready? Here we go. Clown that fingers ready. Say it out loud. Here we go. C, E, C, E, D, F, E, D, F, E, E, G, E, G, F, E, D, G, F, E, D, C, C, rest. How did you do? Did you hold out the long notes like you're supposed to? Okay, you try not to rush on those. All right, so what I would do on the song clarinets is I would practice it piece by piece, and I would practice just the first measure over and over. C, E, C, E. Just do that back and forth, and then blow steady air and tongue every note as you move your fingers. And just do that over and over so you can get a clean sound. Remember, what we don't want to do is stop the air. We don't want to go... And turn the air off. That's no good. Instead, just keep the air blowing like it's one long sound. And then move your fingers, of course. But you also have to start each note with the tongue. So the air blows and the tongue touches the reed, and that gives every note that nice clean start. And then when we get to that whole note, remember four counts long. Oh, 
Okay, so hold it out as long as you can there. Sneak a fast breath at the commas, at the breath marks, and then go on. And try to fill up your lungs as much as you can when you get to the breath marks. So take a really fast breath. <sighs> Breathe really deep like you got scared. And take a, one of those fast, you know, full breaths of air. Okay? Um, work it out measure by measure. And the tricky spots are going to be this measure and that measure, probably this one. And then maybe going down. So just work those spots. Obviously, the whole notes are probably going to be the easiest notes. So once you got that clarinet, then um, try the whole song playing it. So let's try playing it together. Okay, and here we go from the top. Grab your clarinet, and if you can do with the fingers, let's try playing it. Here we go. Ready? <laughs> The final step is if you've worked out each piece and it sounds good and you practice it slowly the whole thing and it sounds good then of course go up here and pick up the speed I wouldn't maybe try it next at 70 and if that sounds good then try it up to full speed but don't go full speed first because that's usually too fast and it does you no good to practice mistakes so take your time on it work it out and um, this might take you a half hour it might take you two days to work it out but it's worth it because it's a great song okay all right good luck on it clarinets I hope that helps you See you next time.